how to make my own very own recipe for lava bread. That's what we need. Yeah. Okay. Um, lava cheese scones. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I say. And um, I've done this a couple of times when I've done events, afternoon tea things like that, and they have gone down really well. People are a bit cautious for lava bread. Yeah. This is how you use it. I've never tried it before, so I'm. I'm Can you try it on its own. No, no, I, I've never tried. No. <laughs> <laughs> we will Do you want to be careful? <laughs> So we're going to rub this in now with okay. the rubbing in hands. Yes. Yeah, hands in. Okay. Feels good. So do I have to? Is this have to be spread everywhere? Just get it all together. Okay. So when you're it? rubbing in, mm -hmm. you want to pick it up and sort of actually rub it. Does that Learning. Mean so? Learning from the master. And it looks, it looks quite sensational if we do it like this. A bit Look Christmassy, at Christmassy snow. Yeah, yeah. And the kids can get involved with this. This is a really nice thing to do with the yeah, kids. Yeah, I can imagine. But you want to make sure you can't see any of the better, and it should look like breadcrumbs. Okay. Before we're ready for the next stage. Yeah, I can imagine the kids really enjoying this, getting their family together. Oh yeah, scones, are, and, and they're quite easy to make. There's a couple of things you got to remember with scones. Don't overwork them when they turn into the dough. Mm -hmm. And um, don't get egg washed on the sides, because it'll stop them rising. Right. So when, you, when you egg wash them, which we'll be doing in a minute, we make sure we get it right on the top of the scone. Perfect. Okay, so we've got our breadcrumb type mixture now, and we're gonna add uh, probably in a handful or two of the cheddar cheese. This so cheddar good. cheese is also from the bacon specialist and it's a vintage Welsh mm -hmm. cheese. Yeah. And I gotta say, and I've said it before, I've never tasted such a nice cheddar cheese. Have you tried it? Yeah, I tried it earlier on with and it's it is so really nice. nice. Yeah. Not, don't work it too much now. Oh, <laughs> no, listen, I gotta listen. I'm gonna ruin it for everyone. <laughs> this is why I'm the health pussy. This is why you're the helper, Charlotte. Yeah. Not too much. We need to give it a bit of work in. Mm -hmm. And I think we're ready to bring this out to the bowl now. Yeah. And okay. onto our work top. A bit like you would with sort of bread or something like that. Yeah. And if, it's it's a, if you put the buttermilk in, it's still a bit dry, which it can be sometimes. You yeah. Add a little bit of milk or a little bit more buttermilk, whatever you've got in the house. Yeah. So what sort of consistency do you have to look for when you're doing this sort of stuff and about to mould it? Uh, this we're looking for like a bouncy soft dough. Mm -hmm. But okay. the, the scones, is a, it's a lovely dough. Yeah. And I actually made on the show a butternut squash scone. I don't know if you remember that from the show. Yeah, yeah, I do remember, yeah, it's um, lovely. And that, that was a lovely alternative to bread. Similar to these, these are sort of, these would be nice with soup as well. Yeah. And they take about 20 minutes, you know, they only they cook in 12. Yeah. So you're talking... Not long then. So quick, yeah. It's quite a quick thing to cook then. And these are lovely, warm out of the oven with butter spread on them. They're just... Honestly, to we have so much nice food being cooked today. So going back to the TV show, yeah. British Best Home Cook, you know, you're watching me and I'm feeling under pressure and I'm not even on like proper <laughs> TV. What was it like with Mary Berry watching you well, uh, constantly? I, with my day job, because I work with the police, um, yeah. I'm used to quite a bit of pressure. So the actual filming and everything wasn't too bad. Yeah. But the first week in, I don't know if it was bad judgment, I decided to make a Swiss roll for Mary Berry. Ooh, was that a bad, bad move? <laughs> it's a bad move? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Mary Berry, it's a sponge, and I've got to roll it straight out of the oven. And, ah, uh, no, no, okay. No, that's, that's quite a lot of pressure. But what was worse was, you had to tell the production company when you took something out of the oven, when it was going in. So when it was going in, you'd wow. tell them, when it was coming out, you'd tell them. Precise. So I said to all my, my sister, all's coming out, I'm going to roll it now. And they were like, oh, 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 hang on, we'll go get Mary. I was like, no, <laughs> no, don't you dare go and get Mary. Oh my gosh. And there she comes, I'm here to help you. I'm like, no, go away. <laughs> Away, and you know, the first week was the worst as well because yeah. um, I wasn't used to it all and I was just terrified the whole time and she was my idol, I couldn't stop crying every time I'd seen her. Oh wow. Um, but wow. yeah, she was lovely, she did help me roll it. Yeah. So, and then she said to me, oh you can put it in the freezer now, it'll cool down quicker. So I was like, right, in the freezer you go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. you, you should use all your senses. Yeah. You know that? Okay, explain yeah. to me. So okay. obviously we're looking to see the things are right. We're right. tasting to make things are right. They're quite clear. Yeah. But also you can hear with things. So like yeah. you hear the, the meat coming to the boils. We know now that at some point that's going to have to be turned down. Yeah. You can also hear when cakes are cooking. Because once they finish cooking, they stop making a noise. 
I mean, I've never heard that before, but you're oh, obviously into this. No, so. generally, like, um, Val off Bake Off used to say it, and it is true. If you listen to a cake, if it's not ready, it still makes it like a sort of crackling noise. You know, we make our cake later on. I'm going to be listening. You're going to be listening. I'm going to yeah. be listening for that. So, a lot of bread scones. Yep, so just going out now. It's still nice and warm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put on some nice oh. butter to melt. Okay. And you can have a little taste. Thank you. Bounce. Mm, they are nice and fluffy, nice ones. Good. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That I is think the so lava good. bread. Do you like it? Mm. And the pilas? It's the only time I don't like it. Oh, oh no, so no. no. There'll be more recipes. That is with so it nice. In, and you'll like it. Right. We'll go on to the next thing then, shall we now? Mm -hmm. Finish that. 